Hi sir, good morning. Yeah, good morning. So, what is your name? Shiva. Yeah, Shiva. Uh, can I have a resume? Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay, Shiva. So, before starting the session, myself and Surya. So, today uh, you are interviewing me. Okay. And so, quickly introduce yourself before. Hi, sir. Good morning. Thank you for giving this opportunity to introduce yourself. My name is Shiva. Yeah. I am from Visakhapatnam. But currently staying in Hyderabad, I have completed my graduate BSc completes. Also, my strengths are self-motivating, hardworking. Yeah, and so what about your techni technologies, like technical skills? Yes, uh, manual testing, core Java automation. Okay. My strengths are... Uh, okay, okay, fine, no problem. And you are good at manual and Java and automation. Yes, sir. Okay. So, can I go with three technologies? Is it okay for you? Yes, sir. Okay, fine. So, let me start with uh, manual testing. Yes, sir. Yeah, okay. So, what is the regression testing? Once the defect fixed by developer, okay. you check side effects of functionality along with defect. Testing defect all related all functionality called regression testing. Yeah, okay. Mm, so, is there any uh, like uh, is there possibility in manual regression testing? Yes, sir. Okay. So there is no disadvantage in manual. No, sir. Okay. So basically, in manual regression it is a time taking process. Yes, sir. So better way regression follows automation. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, fine. Can you elaborate uh, the difference between QA and QC? QA is a process oriented. Okay. Then focus on Preventing quality issues. QC is a product oriented and focused on identify quality issues. Manufactured product that could quality issues and customer satisfaction. So better way, Shiva, you can explain like uh, QA is involved in a verification process. He can do the reviews and inspections and walkthroughs. And QC is an eval. He was involved in a validation process. He can do the like uh, black box and white box testing. Yes. Okay. So this way we can see better. Okay, fine. And uh, what you notice the difference between positive and negative testing? Positive testing in this valid inputs, positive testing, invalid inputs, negative testing. Mm, can you give me some more like a uh, good, good definition? In the type of testing, application with uh, valid inputs. Like you need to say, in this case, we are validating the application with valid inputs. Yes. Okay, so it's known as positive. Fine, okay, no problem. So, like, I think uh, you are learned about Agile also, right? Yes. You mentioned here. So, you said that, uh, like, the knowledge on Agile ceremonies. Yes. Okay, so what are the Agile ceremonies we have? What are they? As Agile ceremonies, four types of Agile ceremonies. Okay. Sprint planning, sprint review. Sprint retrospective, okay. Daily stand up, retrospective. Yes. Okay. So what we discuss in daily stand up? Okay. Daily stand up project manager daily stand up meeting conduct. Uh, conduct. Okay, fine. Sprint review. Uh, what we discuss in daily stand up meeting? Uh, daily stand up meeting. Scrum master daily morning okay. morning session. Daily stand up meeting. Okay, don't be dense. Uh, so, the main thing is what we done yesterday and what to do today, what are we are going to do too. Okay. Yeah, uh, fine. Can you tell the difference between um, defect and bug? During testing, if any accepted and not equal to bug. Actual. Actual not equal to bug. Okay. And not getting correct answer. During testing, if any accepted not equal, actual is bug. So, any customer expectation not matching to the actual, that mismatch found in a testing environment, that is known as a defect. And the defect accepted Develop by developer, developer is bug. bug. Okay. So, can we move with uh, Java? Yes, sir. Okay. So, tell me the, what are the features available in Java? Features of Java easy uh, program programming language easy to understand okay. object oriented platform independent robot okay. portable 
interpreted multi